Some days you feel like you're going backwards. I kind of feel like that today. It's absolutely gorgeous outside. It's 71 degrees at the moment actually. And that's uncanny for October in Connecticut. Well, that's New England. If you don't like the weather, wait a minute. So we could easily have had snow on the ground already. Um, a couple of years ago, not last year, the year before I think, we had a very surprising snowstorm on Halloween, which was, um, oh, 72, see, it's 72 degrees, which really caught everyone by surprise, um, in part because most of the trees still had the leaves on, there was a lot of out power outages, yeah, is it Storm Sandy? Yeah, I think so. So I punched these out from some recycled paper, or it was a packaging from the pizza pan. Oh, there you go, pizza pan that I bought uh, last week. So uh, they were sitting on my desk. I had a meeting, so I thought, well, let me just make a couple of cute little tags out of them. So just used my Sharpie to color up the lid, a um, little twine on this one, a little um, Wild Darker Craft 10 millimeter. Let's see. Rose is going to go on, on another one. Uh, I might stamp this one. Easy peasy. I have a whole stash of them. Um, it went through and this is, listen, it's medium weight chipboard and it punched through quite nicely. That's because it's a nice uh, solid punch and it's the EK Success, um, I think it's just called Jar Punch. And I picked that up at Hobby Lobby oh, several weeks ago few weeks ago. I don't know, I've lost track. And then the tiny little hole punch is this memory, we are memory keepers power punch. And I have those in two different sizes. That's a smaller of the two. I did want to get the one that looks like, um, I don't even have an example, you know, packaging material where they slide them on pegs. So it's a semicircle and then a little tab. I think it's called Euro Tab Punch. It has orange handles, but I haven't been able to find that anywhere in, in stores, and I, to be honest, have not really looked online that vigorously, so it might be kind of a low-key day today. Um, I have some administrative things that um, I've already gotten uh, accomplished. We, um, what else do we have to do? I have to run over to Polly's doctor. I have to go pick up a script. So just a couple of running around things, which I don't think is really that exciting enough for me to take you with with me. But I did have the last of the hamburger soup, which is what was my my lunch. Yeah, it's already after lunchtime. That day is blinking away. I am going to color my hopefully color my hair tonight because Mom wants to take me out for my birthday lunch tomorrow. My birthday was a couple of weeks ago, but. Um, Mom doesn't have a car, so I have to go pick her up. So I rearranged my schedule for tomorrow around lunchtime for a couple of meetings. I just kind of pushed around, and I'm going to pick her up, and then I think she wanted to stunt, run some errands. So that's basically what's going on. Um, I got my coupons all straightened away already, and while I was looking through, I found some cute little Halloween paper. So I might do a little something something for Halloween. There's still time. There's a couple of days left. Um, you know, it's really warm today and a lot of schools have their um, in-school parties today. But I think it's supposed to get cooler by Halloween, which is Friday. So we don't have really any plans. I think there is a party that we were invited to, but I'm not sure what's going to be happening uh, time-wise for Polly to get out of work or, you know... Again, things are up in the air, we're not really sure, but slowly but surely they're kind of returning back to our regularly regularly scheduled programming. So we'll see. It's only a matter of time until things are back to normal. I am feeling very thirsty, so I'm going to go and make myself a big seltzer, uh, maybe orange flavor from the concentrate that I got um, from Ocean State for a dollar. Really, really yummy. So I think I might pick up couple more next time I go there because um, they're seasonal. It's um, I picked up a lemon and an orange. So those are the only ones that were pure extracts. The other stuff was imitation. I just I prefer not to do that. So let me go make myself a nice seltzer and then I have a couple of reports to run for work and some coding to do at which point I don't like to be disturbed so I kind of have to throw myself into it completely and yeah.
that's what's going on. I have my seltzer and we received a care package from my in-laws. It's really sweet. I am, they know we've had a challenging few months. So they've spoiled us, both Polly and I, so they, um, Esther included a really sweet card and a couple of recipe books which I had wanted to share with you. So this one is all about potatoes. And since we do so many Meatless Mondays recipes, I thought that's so sweet. Um, there are poultry and fish in meat recipes, so potatoes as sides, potatoes as main dishes, different types of potatoes, like garlic potato wedges, so an assortment of things to try. Oh, was that kale or spinach? Broiled potatoes with lime. Really cool. And you know, for those of you who have watched my channel for any length of time, know that I just kind of make this, make all this up spicy Indian potatoes. See what kind of spices are in this. Coriander, cumin, cardamom, ginger root, red chili, onion, clo garlic cloves. So yeah, totally doable. Sounds yummy. Spicy potato with onions, caramelized new potatoes. So lots and lots of cheese crumble topped mash. So I'm going to look through this and see if I can pick out some things. Oh, look at that. Shrimp rusty. Very cool. Baked pesto potatoes. Potato and spinach gnocchi. Vegetable kebabs. So yeah, lots and lots of things to do. Potato and tomato calzones. <laughs> really cool potato spinach triangles that sounds good so that was a potato book really cool and then check this out this is you know one of those bound um, like a fundraiser recipe book and this one is fall river line oh it's inscribed I bet you should pick this up at uh, St. Vinny's but wait till you see the print it's all like handwritten but um Let's see. Friends of the Museum, May 19th, 1980. Wow. It's Marine Museum of Fall River. Wanted to publish a recipe book. That is so cool. So it's all these very... Oh, look how cool that is. This photograph of Margaret L. Clark and Frank M. Coffey, C-O-F-F-E-Y, who had their wedding reception aboard the steamer Providence on Tuesday, April 27, 1926. They occupied the honeymoon suite on their evening journey to New York, noticed their elegant breakfast menu with their monogram each in the upper corner. <gasps> How cool is that? Strawberries natural, chicken consomme with pearls, um, salted nuts, radishes, celery, filet of sole, uh, new Bermuda potatoes baked with poached egg, breakfast rolls, coffee, uh, chicken salad, dry toast, French vanilla ice cream, fancy cakes, steamer, Providence, Fall River Mass. Wow, that's really cool. Eggs de Louise, ham or meat souffle, sausage with baked apples. I think I'm going to try these. Wouldn't it be cool to have a whole recipe, a whole series of videos just on recipes from here opened face omelet look at they're all handwritten by various people and photocopied codfish omelets milk toast plain omelet oyster omelet good things to eat patrons of the fall river line have to come to expect that the restaurants aboard the steamers of this line shall provide all of the daintiest and delicacies that are best hotels and clubs offer. Oh, offer. There's an R. Uh, and they never disappoint. Aboard the steamer of the Fall River Line, the businessman or tourist may enjoy a sumptuous a retreat amid an elegant surroundings as though they were dining in Fifth Avenue Restaurant. The steamers of the line have been linked to floating hotels and the comparison is not amiss. Iced chocolate, lemon iced tea, Wow. Wassail. 
Museum Punch. <laughs> this is really cool. And, and there's some photographs. Oysters Rockefeller. This is really cool. Ceviche of Scallop. Seafood Remoulade. Skipper's Delight. Clam Cakes or Fritters. Clam Puffs. Soups and Chowders. Oh, I'd love to make an authentic New England clam chowder. Because, after all, I am from New England. Consomme. Consomme... Filippini, consomme, printon, uh, onion, or gratin, uh, creme Saint Germain, mock turtle, Cape Cod fish chowder, Riverton, uh, Tiverton chowder, fish chowder, Scotch broth, clam bisque, shank drum soup, white stock from veal, brown stock. Demi glaze sandwiches. Look at that sumptuous room. Cream cheese and green pepper. Wow. I don't think I've ever had that combination. Chicken salad, egg, lettuce on toast, tomato bacon on toast. Wow. This is really cool. I'm going to definitely peruse this. Lobster sandwiches, broiled mushrooms, yeah, steamers. Steamer Plymouth. This is very cool. I'm quite impressed with this. This is so cool. Thank you, Esther, for thinking of us. This is really what a pleasant surprise. I mean, she always and there were there was also cheese in the in the box and um, snacks for the dogs, including Chester's uh, no um, gluten Dutch apple cake, peach scallop. Hollandaise sauce. Mock Hollandaise. Alright, I'm going to really enjoy this. And then the last, Linger in the Spirit of Manitowoc. <laughs> That's the town that Polly's from. Oh my gosh. It's like a tourist guide to Manitowoc. That's the... I didn't know they had balloons uh, at a balloon festival. Uh, very cool. 2014, so this is current. Manitowoc, Two Rivers. That's where the church is, the Two Rivers, I think. Oh, and there's a map. Oh, I bet I could find where my in-laws house is. It's on North 9th. So, over here somewhere. Is there 7th? 10th? No, that's Two Rivers. Here's Manitowoc. Oh, yeah, I won't be able to see it. But the Ludington Ferry, the Lake Michigan Ludington Ferry, stop, um, crosses from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc on the SS Badger. That's where we're, we've taken that many a time. Very cool. So we'll take a look at that. I'm sure Polly already snuck a peek to see what's interesting. Oh, and there's Moses. Look at all the lighthouses. We're familiar with the lighthouse in Manitowoc. Kicked a, a couple of um, horny teenagers once. <laughs> and then when we walk back, we realize everything is very lit up up there. Oh well. And then we went cray fishing. <laughs> so there's a peek at what we received today and some really happy mail. Thank you, Esther and Phil. Thank you so much. Time to cause some hair. Bubbles. Time to polish the silver, as Monica calls it. So I'm polishing it with Garnier Olea in 6.65, which is the Garnet Red. Comes out pretty bright on my head. <laughs> so yeah, and I need two boxes to do all my hair. Yep. All done. See? No more gray. So this is dinner. I made uh, some tenderloin steaks, like little medallions, uh, baby red potatoes baked in the oven with some sour cream, and squeaky to the tooth cabbage with uh, red rice wine vinegar and black and white sesame seeds. Yummy. That's it. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Keep me as company. We so appreciate it, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, don't forget about that thumb in this direction. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.